This video is an edited video of the lectures on how to select from geometry nodes that I have been conducting. There are some additional explanations. You can see most of the things about selection in geometry nodes in this video. We have divided chapters in the video description section, so please focus on the parts you are interested in. In general, there is a big difference between working in object mode in Blender and working in edit mode. Free selection on geometry nodes means you can freely edit vertices in edit mode. We made this video to convey that concept. Let's see the first video. This is a video about the selection I made for the first time. We learn one by one in our lives. Learn how to solve problems. From simple to complicated. When we think about a lot of problems, unexpected things come to mind. There is not one way to solve the problem, but many ways. So, Many tutorial videos will eventually be just one way, rather than the answer. The simpler the way to solve the problem, the better. As soon as we decided to use the geometry nodes, we faced countless problems. One of the most important and big problems is probably about selection. This video records the process of practicing selecting the curve points I want to choose. If you look at it, there are also recorded simple ways and unnecessarily complicated parts. I put it as it is because I thought it would be a good study just to watch my trial and error. If you know good ways to select, please share it with us. At the time of making this first video, I have not yet finished organizing the selection method in geometry nodes. Often, people are fascinated by the brilliant results of geometry nodes, and it is easy to go beyond the basics and proceed. Personally, I think the basics of everything are the most important. And if you keep looking at the basics, there are infinite possibilities for expansion within it. There are some things to be careful when looking at various nodes of geometry nodes. There are a lot of options that are overlapped than I thought. If you do not accurately define what you want, you are overwhelmed by numerous options, making it easy to waste time on unnecessary work. The divide option can also be combined with the multiply option in most cases. The addition and subtraction options are the same. The endpoint selection node provided by the curve object can be replaced with other nodes. But it's easier than any other node. A person with a good understanding of mathematics will not be fooled by the multitude of nodes and options. I hope you can come up with a better alternative by watching this video. Personally, this video is meaningful to me. I could see that there were more people who seriously approached geometry nodes than I thought, and later helped me with the direction of my content. My channel used to be mainly about Blender's Grease Pencil, but these days it's mainly about geometry nodes. It would be great if you could apply geometry nodes directly to Grease Pencil object, but I don't hear that. If Grease Pencil object is capable of shadow casting, and if geometry nodes are applied directly, it seems that a lot of Grease Pencil related content will be covered. The future of computer graphics will eventually come down to AI. So I think geometry nodes are more important. I think geometry nodes is like custom AI. But at the same time, it seems like it's time to start learning about the AI program. We have selected the curve object to look at the most basic about selection. After producing a video on the first selection, I thought it would be better to produce a video of a bit of basic explanation about the selection in geometry nodes. So I made a second video. In this video, we will see how to select in geometry nodes. Create a curve object and apply geometry nodes to it.
and an instance on point node. Connecting the cube to the instance socket places the cube at the point on the curve. Since we are going to see how to freely select each curve point, we will add a resample curve node. Reduce the size of each cube to make it easier to see. Let's see how to select each cube using the selection socket of the instance on points node. First, the instance number is as follows. When you connect to an index node, all instances except for instance 0 are selected. If we add a math node and adjust the value in add mode, we can select deselect one by one from the front. In modular mode, depending on the value, we can select one by one or we can select more diversely. We can also select from the beginning in less than mode. In compare mode, we can select only the desired instance number through the value value. With an additional add mode, we can also select the separate instances at the same time. For curves, there is an endpoint selection node that makes the selection more intuitively and easy. By adding only one node, we can increase the selection from the front. We can also increase the number of choices from the back. Spline parameters and color ramp nodes can be used to make selections more visually comprehensible. The third video was made with the mind that I was able to take a break and start over again for a while and then restart it again. In this video, we will look at how to select a geometry node by using the position value. With default cube selected, create a new geometry node tree and add an instance on points node. Add a cube node and connect it to the instance socket. Add a subdivide mesh node to increase the number of instances. In this state, you want to select this part. It is convenient to use the position value of the X coordinate. Add a position node. A separate ZIS node. And a compare node. In greater than mode, you can easily select those located above a certain X coordinate. This time I want to select only this part. In this case, the X coordinate and the Z coordinate must be used together. This is a math node that allows the numbers in both cases to be common. Shall we apply a little more? Add a join geometry node and duplicate the instance on points node.
Add not equal mode. Reduce the scale in one instance on points node. If you add a value node, you can express like this. Shall we make this part optional? Those who are good at math might be able to organize the nodes more concisely. For this video, I used a free video editing program called CapCut, and there was no inconvenience to use, but a watermark called CapCut was inserted during the final video output, so I found another program, found ClipChamp, and continued editing using ClipChamp. First, we add a subdivision surface node to create a slightly more challenging situation. Add an instance on points node. Add a cube, connect to the instance socket. And reduce the size. By connecting join geometry nodes, you work while looking at the mesh and instance together. Add a set material node. Add a blue material, and select it. Change the viewport shading mode to material preview mode. Now, the selected instance will be shown in blue. By default, all instances are selected. Let's select only the rightmost instance. Let's think about it together for 5 seconds. Since it is an instance on the far right of the x-axis, it is specified using the position node. Connect by adding a position node, a separate xyz node, and a compare node. In greater than mode, adjust the number to select it. This time, we will select only two instances like this. It's more complicated than before, so let's think about it together for 10 seconds. You have to make a selection in two steps. First, select the ones with more than a certain coordinate on the x-axis, and then just remove the parts you don't want. You can do this by using the subtract mode of the Boolean math node. It is a concept of subtracting the instances at the zero position of the z-axis from the existing selection. After looking at a few nodes, I came across a Boolean math node. I thought it was a very important and useful node, so I covered it in detail in the next video. In this video, we will take a closer look at how to select a geometry node using a Boolean math node. Apply the subdivide mesh node to the default cube object, apply level 4, and add a set material node. Add a new material and rename it to selection. This will be used to separate the selected area. Let's select the middle first. Add a position node and a separate XYZ node. The compare node allows you to select based on the position value on the X axis. If you select the selection material, you can see that only the side greater than zero is selected on the X axis. To select the center along the x-axis, enter 0 in equal mode and adjust the epsilon value to select it. This is what happens when you select the center along the y-axis. 
how do I apply both of these choices? It can be easily implemented through a Boolean math node. And is the value that both input values have in common? Or represents both inputs? Not calls all but a single input. Not and calls all values except those printed as in values. Nor is the opposite of or. If you look closely at each mode, you can see that the range that can be expressed by using the two selection areas is wide. In the next video, I dealt with the part where different materials are applied to the selected part. In this video, how to select the desired instances from geometry nodes and how to invert the selection and how to apply different materials to selected instances. And we will look at ways to make the configured nodes more concise and controllable. Add a curve and click the geometry nodes tab. Click the new button to create new nodes tree. Add the instance on points node. Add a cube and connect it to the instance socket. Since the curve circle has four curve points by default, four cube instances are placed above the curve points. Add a resample curve node to create some more curve points. Reduce the size of the cube to make it easier to check. Add an index node and connect it to the selection socket. By adding a compare node and changing it to equal mode, we can select each instance independently. If we change float to integer, we can check it more conveniently. Index numbers are as follows. If the number of the compare node is entered as 0, instance 0 is selected. How do we invert this selection? That is, it is a case of selecting all instances except for instance 0. If we copy the compare node in equal mode, all instances except 0 are selected. Since equal value is 0, it is not equal. If equal value is 1, it becomes equal, and instance 0 remains selected as it is. If not equal mode, the case of value 1 inverts the selection. We can use it conveniently according to our own tastes. Now, up to this point, individually selecting instances, we looked at reversing the selection. This time, we will apply material to the selected instance at a set material node. Add a blue material and select it from the set material node. We can check it in material preview or the rendered view. Currently, blue material is applied to all other instances except for instance 0. In this state, we will additionally select instance 0 and apply an orange material. Press Command J to group the nodes for selection except for instance 0. Copy the node group for selecting instances.
Yeah, the join geometry node. Copy the set material node. Add an orange material and change it in the set material node. Connect the group input and the index node. It is a state in which the same node groups are duplicated. If we mute the set material node with the blue material applied, we can see the orange material. If we delete the not equal node that was added from the node group that selected instances other than instance 0, only instance 0 will be selected. Up to this point, we have a look at the process of selecting each instance and applying different materials. However, if the node configuration becomes a little simpler, more diverse expressions will be possible. Unify the equal node that selects instances. In this way, whenever the selected instance changes, other unselected instances are also linked together enabling more diverse expressions. We can also use less than instead of equal. We can also change the count of the resample curve. In this case, if you want to link also one resample curve node to control, If you arrange the instance cube, it will look cleaner. Add a curve tangent node. Add an align all vector node and connect them. Even with this kind of node configuration, some degree of expression will be possible. If you want a more diverse expression, you need to add more nodes. The following video is a midterm exam that can check your understanding of geometry nodes.